the array sort method sorts the elements of an array by manipulating the array. The default sort order is ascending. It will convert the elements from the array to strings and then it will compare their sequences of UTF-16 code unit values. Now I know this might sound a bit complicated, but it's important for us to know, especially when we want to sort an array of numbers. But for now let's uh, see how the sort method works on strings. We have here an array of names and we want to sort them. Let's say names.sort, which will, as I said, uh, modify the names array and let's console.log the names. And here we can see that first we have Florine, then Ivan, Jay and Liam. Okay, that's perfect. But what happens if you want to sort an array of numbers? Let's see an example. Let's change this to numbers. Let me remove this a bit. And here we're going to paste in some uh, random numbers. For example, 74, 18, 10, 5, 84, 24, and 105, right? Now, if you're looking at this array of numbers, by sorting the array, we're expecting that 5 will be the first element, right? Let's see how it works. Numbers.sort, if we're consoling now the numbers array, we get 10, 105, 18, 24, 5. Whoa, what's happening? Well, as I said in the beginning, the sort will convert the elements to strings. And even though in a numeric sort, 5 will come before all of these, because it will convert them to strings, we get something like 10 and then 105 and 5, like that in strings. So it will check for the UTF-16 code unit values. That's kind of bad, right? We want to sort them in ascending order. The good thing is that we can provide a compare function and we can decide what's the algorithm we want to sort with. So let's do that. Let me remove this like that and I'm going to create a compare function. Let's call it compare function which takes in two parameters, A and B, meaning the elements which will be compared. The outcome of this function, the return of this function, will decide which element comes first. We have three scenarios. Let me put it here. If the return of this function is less than zero, then A will come first. This will be the first scenario. Then the second scenario, if the return is zero, then nothing will be changed. And the third scenario, if we have a number bigger than zero, then A will come first. A comes first, and let's do this here. Uh, B comes first here, and then A comes first here. Now considering this, we can simply create a compare function to work properly with numbers by saying return A minus B. Let's say we compare 10 with 5. 10 being A and B being 5. Now this will return a positive, right? So 10 minus 5 is 5, so it's positive, meaning that B will come first. So this will swap places. Okay, we can get this function and paste it in as a callback for the sorted method. Let's save it. And now we can see that we have the number sorted as we want it, which is perfect. Also, the sort method can work even with an array of objects. Let me paste in an array of objects and we can see how that can work. All right, I pasted in an array of products which has three objects containing the name of the product and the price. What we want to do is to sort this array dependent on the price. For example, in ascending order. Let's see what happens if we use the sort method as is. Products.sort and let's console.log products. You can see on the right that the array remains unchanged. But as we did previously, we can provide a compare function. Let's do it in an array function this time. We get A and B and we want to do some sort of calculation. 
we can compare the prices of the objects because now for the A and B we have access to the price and we can return simply A.price minus B.price. Now if we're going to save this you can see that the array changed and now the phone which is uh, the lowest price comes first. If you want to do them in descending order you can just say B price minus A that price. Save this and now the most expensive one is the first one. Pretty fun, right? We can even go ahead and remove the return here because we have an arrow function. Save this and now the result is the same. 